top of the food chain, rock with a rat tail, king sanitation, covered at the trap mail. Yo guys, what's going on? Tim Pass here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make an insane pixel art fire overlay in Photoshop. It's going to be a bit animated. Um, there'll be an example on the screen right now. This is what we'll be making in today's video. It's really, really nice. I'll be doing a bit of a simpler version, nothing too crazy, but you'll be able to use the tips and tricks in this video to make something like this. And it's going to be really, really nice, guys. I'm going to do all the different sorts of styles of overlays in the future. This is going to be the first one. We're back on the grind, guys. We'll be doing videos every other day. So make sure you've got them uh, notifications on so you don't miss a video subscribe if you are new let me know down below what videos you'd like to see from me next um, but yeah I've got so many sick videos planned guys so let's get it and let's just get straight into the video right guys so we're here in Photoshop so I've, I've already made this so I'll show you how to make it right now but first what you want to do is open up a uh, 2560 by 1440 pixels document and then you want to basically go to image, image size, and scale it down to uh, 400 by 225. That's the uh, document size we'll be working with. Um, and make sure it's on nearest neighbor hard edges. So just, you can copy down this. This is the size of the document we're gonna be working with. And then once we've finished, obviously we'll have to scale it back up again. Um, so yeah, to make this right here, um, all I did was, Go to the square tool and then just click on the screen and make it, um, I think 400, no 256 by 144, um, that's what I did. So just 256 by 144 and then you get a square, this one's white. So we'll just control I and then to make it an actual border all you've got to do is control and click on the thumbnail of the little square, image, image size. Oh no, no, sorry. <laughs> Select, modify, contract, and contract it by six, and then press delete on your keyboard to delete the center. And then you get this right here. So obviously this is gonna be a fire themed one with rocks. So I wanna make the border of this like a really dark brown, like the color of like uh, rocks. So I'm gonna choose like something down here, maybe something like that. And then what we're gonna do is just rasterize it. I'm not gonna show you how to make the entire thing, but just little bits that you guys can just take and keep adding to it. So what we're gonna do now is just create some little rocks. So I'm gonna to go to the pencil tool and we're gonna choose like a really dark brown again, maybe something like that. And with the, with the pencil tool on one pixel, you can just start creating some rocks what I like to do is hold down shift and create random shapes. In fact, we'll do one in the corner. Let's just do like the corner piece. Um, so we're just gonna create a nice big rock. Um, I'm using the tracking pad on my tablet. I mean, on my uh, laptop, but uh, ta having a tablet really does help. So yeah, there we go. We've got a little rock already. And if you want to spice it up even more, you can add different colored rocks. So maybe a lighter shaded one, something like that. Add a new layer. You can do this freehand, but um, holding down shift sometimes gets nice results. But yeah, you just want to make like rocks in random places. Um, on the example I showed you, I had like a big rock in the center with a logo in the middle. You guys can do that as well if you want. Literally all you got to do, let's make it like a the same color as this, add a new layer. For that, all I did is I just went like this. In fact, you don't even really need to hold down shift. Just make some sort of rock shape, They're quite random, and then just fill in the center. And then you can put the logo in there, and I'm gonna show you how to make fire as well, like little um, lava flows. Um, but yeah. You just want to keep adding different colored shades of rocks and it, it turns out really, really nice. You can do lighter rocks, like I said. Maybe something like this. Some could go down like that. But yeah, you. what I did was I kind of had most of the rocks at the bottom and then some rocks um, I did hanging off the side like attached to the side. 
Sort of like it's on the edge of a mountain type thing. Stuff like that. And that looks really cool as well. Sort of like the rocks are attached to the overlay on the side. Let's do like a darker rock as well. You want to kind of make it symmetrical but also a bit different at the same time. So in the bottom left I'm going to do a similar thing. Like that fill that in. If you don't like something you've done, press E on your keyboard and then go to the pencil. And I'm going to make it smaller by using the um, left square bracket key. And just uh, erase that part. Like so. And already it looks really, really nice. Like a really rocky overlay. Really nice. But yeah, you can slap a logo in the center. What I'm going to show you right now is how to make a fire. So what you want to do, you want to choose where the fire is going to go. So let's just say this rock on the left, we want it to go there. You want to add a new layer and then control right click, create clipping mask. And we're just going to go over to it. So now whatever you do is going to be on top of this rock. And let's choose like a quite a bright orange like that. And lava, we want to create some sort of lava flow. So maybe up here, goes like that. And then down. In fact, maybe a bit more like this. Sort of like it's flowing behind the rock. And then we can um, create a little circle shape. You can't see what I'm doing here, but join it back up to the start and then press G and fill it in. So we've got like a solid and then you've got some lava there. Um, you want the outside of the lava to be a bit more red because the, the hottest part of the lava is in the center. So you want that to be the brightest and the outside will be the darkest. So on the outside, give like a little red outline like so. Follow it along. Already looking really nice. And then, boom, add a new layer. Great clipping mask. And then we're just gonna use the eyedropper tool, press on the orange, and then make it a bit brighter up here. And now we can start doing some little streaks. You want to do some some shapes like this. It's quite random. You just want to add little sections of brighter orange, if you know what I mean. Just extra sections, like so. And then, once again, go up a bit more. Have like a really nice yellow color. Create clipping mask. I think in this video we'll just do, um, we won't animate it. I think we might, I might save that for a different video actually because it might go on for a bit too long but you get the idea, you want to add like areas of yellow on here just in random places all you need to know is the outside is darker and then it gets brighter and brighter as you go into the middle you might even want to add a new layer and choose like a really really bright yellow and then you can add some little sections of bright yellow in certain areas to show that it's extremely hot. And boom, you've got some nice lava right there. And then as you add more of that around the overlay, it makes it look even better. So we've done that now. Let's try a different style of lava. So I'm going to go back to the original orange, uh, like dark orange we've got. And now we're just going to do something like this. Very, very simple stuff. Then we're going to get like some more oranges. It's all about layering up the different colors to make really nice effects. 
and then we're going to choose like a really bright yellow. But yeah, we've done that now. Also, a little tip as well, guys. Let me just merge them. Actually, no, we don't need to merge. Make sure that this over here is masked on top of the rock, the original rock. So I'm going to drag it down, create clipping mask, and then add a new layer, create clipping mask again. And now we're going to go to the pencil tool, hold down, and then go to the brush tool. Make sure you're on a soft round brush. And then we're going to scale it up a bit and then change it to orange and just click. And we're going to set that to, we'll set that to color dodge and then just bring down the opacity of it. And you can do that on all the rocks where you add the fire. So we'll add a new layer here. Create clipping mask. And then click and then set that to whatever looks best. Color dodge I think uh, looks really really nice on this. But yeah you just kind of want to do that all over the overlay and it looks really really nice. Um, I think in a different video I'm going to show you how to animate some fire on top of the overlay. Um, you know some like fire animated on top. I think we'll save that for next video. Um, but yeah that's basically the main things you need to know of how to make fire. Very very simple stuff. I don't want to make two difficult videos for you guys um, but yeah just give it a go and good luck guys if we break 100 likes that would be awesome as you know we're uploading every other day uh, I've got some really really helpful videos coming not just tutorials on how to design but also um, how to succeed as a designer and also we'll be doing competitions, giveaways, and so much more. I've also got as well a really big thing on the way, so stay tuned. I can't really spill too much on it, but be ready, something big. Thanks so much for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.